everybody! Welcome back to more RPG Maker MZ Tutorials. In this lesson, we will learn how to make our character be able to be one of two genders. This is a really good option to especially broaden your audiences for your game, especially if you want to appear to all genders. So, I decided to make this asset in advance for this, for this lesson. So, look at this. I made female protect faces.png and male protect faces.png. Let's preview each of them. Here's female, and here's male. I prepared these images in advance just for this lesson. Now, let's get started on to actually implementing this. Firstly, what we're going to need is a switch that tells the game whether whether the game knows whether our gender is male or female. So to do this, we're going to go to Control Switches, and I made this switch in advance. You can name this whatever you want, but I decided to name this Is Female Protagonist. Okay, now before we do that, let's make, let's make something that actually determines what the player will choose for their gender. So, for this intro cutscene that we made last episode, we're going to make this. What gender is this entity? And now we're going to show choices, and we're going to have the choices between male and female. If you want, you can also do non-binary, but that, but that's a whole other complicated process that requires a second switch. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Yes, I did. My headphone plug in. Sorry about that. Anyway, we're going to set to disallow branch choice. And we're going to have none as the default choice, just so it doesn't appeal to one specific gender. So we're going to click OK. Now we're going to cut this and put that there and put the opposite in this one. So we're going to set female protagonist to off on this one. And now we're going to have to choose our actor that we're going to apply this to. It's usually the first one based on what you're doing, but you can do this on whatever character you want. Like if you want a male or a female character to join your party at some point, that's perfectly fine. So to do this, we're going to go to the third page and system settings, change actor images. This will be for the male protagonist. No, not that. Copy that and paste this there. Now we change our character to be this. Female protect faces. I prepared all these assets in advance. Okay, let's add this to it so, to make a bit more sense. Just adding a bit of clarity. Now let's do a bit of an application for this scenario. And we're going to have an application for the switch. So what we're going to do is make a new event. Let's call it cutscene for now. Oops. Let's turn this to auto run. And we're going to add a new event page and a switch for A just to make sure this doesn't loop forever. So here's how we're going to do it. So we're going to click on show text. But before... Now we're going to do a conditional branch with an else branch that determines whether is female protagonist on or off. 
You can do either if you want, but I like to keep it on on. Is female protag on? So, let's, let's do female protag faces slash n n1. So it gets the name of the of the character we listed. Now let's say grown Okay, now we're going to copy this piece of text and paste it to the else branch for the male character. That reads Remember Whenever you're making a gendered character, always do this at the start of your game so you can build your game around it. Now let's make sure this doesn't trigger forever. So we're going to do control switches, I mean self switch, self switch A on. So let's get to, let's get to testing this introduction sequence. Okay, as we can see, we have our choices, and now we can choose a gender. Let's choose female. I'll just leave it as nameless for now. As you can see, we have a we have a conditional, and then passes, so we can have the, the female protagonist set and their name right here. Now let's do this again, but with the male protagonist this time. We have the exact same text, but with the male face and the male image of our protagonist. Now let's close this game. And that's everything you need to know about adding a gender to your main character for a game. Enjoy making your character whatever gender you want. You can, you can always give them the proper pronouns to do the thing too. This is really good for world building and storytelling to or if you have a gender fluid protagonist, that's perfectly fine. Do what you want with your gendering system, and I'll see you guys next episode.